rise, rise it up, hot rise. This is a place where almost everybody knows his name. George Saliba, a business owner whose love is so large, everyone around him feels it. And that's because George, the owner and operator of 13 McDonald's locations in Kentucky and Indiana, puts people first. His customers. Everything was good. Awesome. Can I get the tray? No, I'm okay. That's my job. I can take care of it. Get this. I'm happy to see you guys. Thank you, George. Thank you. And his employees. Hey, Ash. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Hey, Nance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do every day. Thank you for all your help. George Saliba is always grateful, especially for the first McDonald's he bought in LaGrange, Kentucky in 2012. It's just opening again after a remodel. It's like having the first child, so there's a lot of excitement. This is the first time I had the, uh, the opportunity to own my own McDonald's and live the American dream. And he's grateful for the company that made his dreams come true. To own a, a piece of the the most iconic brand in, in, in the United States, if not in the world. I don't take it for granted. I'm, I'm blessed to have that opportunity. McDonald's had made it possible for so many people before me and hopefully so many people after me. People don't realize that 60% of all McDonald's owner operators started as crew people at one time. So I started as a manager trainee all the way at the bottom. Uh, learning every position, learning how to ring on the register, learning how to make fries. A lot of the people at McDonald's have been my teachers. McDonald's has been my university. But George's quest for the American dream started in a country far away. Originally, I'm, I'm from a small village in the mountains of Lebanon a village where his parents planted his humble roots and his father nurtured his spirit of entrepreneurship. My dad started a winery out of, on the kitchen table. And then uh, at the age of 10 years old, I start helping him and kind of follow my dad's footstep. And I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to own my own business. And George's father, with little education, had another vision for George and his siblings, to get college degrees. Education for me is the vehicle that, that you need to succeed in life. My dad understood it, because uh, he never got that opportunity. And he had to work, you know, 14 hours a day. And he didn't want his kids to go that route. So, in the late 1970s, with Lebanon's beauty blighted by the scars of war and bereft of opportunities, George made a life-changing decision. Left the country to pursue the American dream and, and leave the Civil War. I was 21 years old. I couldn't speak one word of English, but I got accepted at the University of Dayton, and I knew I had to learn the English language very quickly. He learned from the universal language, music. So a friend of mine uh, went and got me a lot of easy listening albums, Barbara Streisand, Neil Diamond, Cat Steven, and, uh, and that's how I learned the English language uh, for the most part. Failure was not an option. I, I, was, I was not gonna fail. I got my bachelor degree in two years uh, in 1981, and then I went and got my master degree which is an MBA. After I graduated, uh, the war was still going on. Uh, I felt, you know, hey, I'll, I will go find a job at McDonald's. And then after a few months, I, I, I fell in love with that business. I fell in love with the opportunity to own my own business. Opportunity, a word George says, is a main ingredient of McDonald's success. That, that's the biggest benefit we provide uh, to, to anybody that's working for us is the opportunity to move up in the company or to uh, pursue your dream. We teach them a lot about the skills to be successful. The fast food chain takes the time to help workers grow and learn. 
McDonald's makes a major investment to employee education through a program called Archways to Opportunity. Since it launched in 2015, the program has increased access to education to more than 20,000 workers. Archways to Opportunity helps workers improve their English skills, earn a high school diploma, and... For people that want to go to college, uh, we will supplement their education so it's not a dead-end job. And McDonald's and its owner-operators invest in their communities with a focus on education, giving college scholarships to high school students, giving money to teachers to help them in the classroom. To be successful, you have to be part of the community, you have to give back to the community, and build relationship along the way. George also builds a future for other McDonald employees, mentoring them. He's helping me to become a McDonald's business owner, which is a very uh, uh, challenging course for somebody who wants to do that. Um, he has a lot of love in his heart. And his love for McDonald's and the spirit of entrepreneurship is in the family DNA. I'm an owner operator in the Indianapolis region for McDonald's, and I also supervise for my dad's organization. Emily Castleman, George's daughter, gave up another corporate career for the opportunities at McDonald's. They've set me up for success every step of the way, um, from training and development to involvement. And the life lessons she's learned from her father are priceless. His passion, his loyalty for his people, for his guests, uh, the way that he impacts lives every day, it's, it's, it's been an incredible journey to be by his side. My dad has taught me to uh, never give up, ever and um, just make sure that we take care of our people every day. <laughs> that's, hard to, <laughs> that's hard to say without crying. <laughs> this humble, hardworking man inspires his staff by the way he leads. I sweep the floor, I mop the floor, I check the restroom if they need to be touched up. I will never ask anybody to do anything unless I've done it myself, or I do it myself. I look at them as they are my own sons, and they are my own daughters. I have a relationship with, with almost every one of my crew people, and I want to try to teach them as much as I can. So we want people to follow their dream. For me, it was owning my own business McDonald's. For somebody else, it might be becoming an engineer, or becoming a teacher, whatever it is. Uh, we want McDonald's to help them be part of that, that journey with them.